my money, might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. All right, so an interesting stylistic clash in front of this young fighter here tonight. You gotta think he's trying to figure out how best to get this fight to the ground and use his ability to pass. This guy cuts the guard with the best of them. Great technique, but also a plus athlete. And he's not afraid to lean on that athleticism and do some unorthodox things to better position himself on the ground. All right, here's the top five welterweight contender, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was gonna vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad, when you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it, though. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exactly where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Herb Dean, he will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, early round action here featuring the first Kazakh fighter to sign a contract with the UFC, Uzbekistan's Shavkat Rakhmanov. He's one of the best finishers in the sport. Knockout submissions, he's got them in spades. As far as this matchup is concerned, he said he's gonna take what the opposition gives him. He's never in a huge rush, but more often than not, when you fight Rakhmanov, you end up getting finished. Striking discrepancy here, but you gotta think the wrestler is gonna pursue these situations in this match. I mean, he spent his lifetime here. He spent his lifetime in close. So he gets to the pitch, gets chest to chest, and he's comfortable. No matter how good his opponent is in terms of overall skills, he is so well first here that he feels like he is in the advantage position. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm good. Continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Muhammad <laughs> getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Now he's going full mount. Get up the back. You gotta get 
Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, nice. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Rachman. Oh, slick reversal right there. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Muhammad. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. Like these guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Muhammad gets the single leg takedown. Under two minutes to go. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Rachmanov. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Oh, right into mouth. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Bilal Muhammad. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Rachmana. Oh, arm triangle! Arm triangle! Arm triangle! Oh, yeah, he's got him. Just sit tight. to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all the way to his opponent. Oh, he is out, how good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by his young man. Oh, what a way to end the round, saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn, and now a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this Ready case, fight? he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on the Left hand connection and a right. the strike, counters with the jab. He's got a good reach advantage in this matchup, and it certainly looked pretty pronounced in that exchange. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Muhammad going for the takedown, nothing doing there. Big counter right here. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent really with most of what he's doing. He can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of a ball. Huh. He, everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, and he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. Oh, nice inside kick. Could do it. Oh, beautiful combination. And mixes in a takedown. Why not? He 
Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. All right, feet on the hips here. Just like this, now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. Yeah, it might be over. He's out. What's the mission defense on this play? North-south position now. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Muhammad gets back up. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, here he goes. Oh, nice lead up and cut. Muhammad's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. And there's the double leg takedown. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. All right, side control now. North-south position now. Nice defense. Two minutes now to go in round two. Takes his back. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Got him softened up here. Getting them all here. Oh. He a lot needs of fighter to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Muhammad going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes. Mixing it up pretty well here. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. Muhammad's eye is starting to swell shut. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have run away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, big from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges. And oh, 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 oh. He can't even stand. Straight right. He misses. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Third round on the way. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. <laughs> Muhammad gets tattooed by that straight punch. Big hook. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. 
good jab. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Rachmanov gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. So Rachmanov's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Muhammad's hook to the body there is blocked. Shot looked pretty good, but ultimately the defense was there. Rachmanov's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. He didn't like that left hand. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Oh, big damaging knees here to the butt. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Now he's got to reveal everything that he's doing again. He should have got the white finish at that time. Well, no feeling out process tonight, but well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And there you go, again, half guard. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Relentless pressure from the top by Rockman. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Yes, the single collar tie now. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Both fighters throwing heat now. Could be over soon. Do you believe it? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, the law, remember the name, Muhammad.
Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need their scorecards. Tonight. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got the finish.